Hi everyone, it's me Darlene and we are doing something different today. I'm going to be doing sort of like a show and tell. I found some treasures recently while actually trying to do some decluttering and I was going to jump right in and get started with this but I thought why don't I show you first. My mother's room is right over there and the TV is blasting and there's nothing we can do about that so you will hear that in the background. But what I did is I cleaned under my sewing area and I have a, like a little, why can't I think of it? Not a chest, not a dresser, but you know, it's just stacked drawers and there's three of them, but one is small. I haven't even looked in that one yet. The other two are big and they are both filled with scraps of fabric. You can see them right here. Yes, fancy two camera work today. The first thing I wanted to do was jump in and start crumb quilting. It's going to be like crumb quilting slash crazy quilting because with crazy quilts, you use typically all kinds of fabric. And I do have a lot of different fabric scraps in here and I'm gonna be showing you some. So I thought I'd like to uh, put some crumb blocks together, crazy quilt blocks together, not on a foundation necessarily for the crazy quilt blocks, just gonna just slap stuff together. And I don't know, maybe I'll just stop at some blocks, maybe I'll make enough blocks to make a quilt top. I have no clue yet and I'm not promising anything. But today I'm just gonna show you some stuff and then uh, when I start sewing I can rearrange the cameras and show you, you know, me putting some things together and that will be in a separate video. So subscribe so you don't miss out on any of this shit. Okay? Okay. One thing I see right away are some of these, uh, these bobbins. Now, my grandmother worked in a dress shop. My father also worked in the mills and sometimes he would come home with weird things. It wasn't, um, it was a weaving mill. I don't know, I guess they used thread and weaving, but I can't use these as a bobbin, but I can use them as a top thread. So I love treasures like this because I'll use this all up. And then I have this bag and I was like, what's in here? It's like this. It's all threads. I have all kinds of spools of thread here. And some of these are pretty old. As long as the thread doesn't instantly break, I'm good with that. And again, you know, these spools, you know, I don't know. I don't know if these are old spools or again, if they came from the mills or whatever, but I just put that right on, um, on my little peg and I use these as top threads. And you know, sometimes if I'm going fast, it'll wobble and even fall off. In that case, what I'll do is I'll put these on bobbins. I'll spin and wind bobbins filled with this thread and then I'll just use the bobbin as the top thread. And when I'm spinning it to hold it, I'll just like put a pencil. I put this on my peg and then I'll put a pencil or something to hold it down so I can wind my bobbins. I have lots of colors and I like that because, you know, some green and some light purple and other green and some aqua. When I do the um, crumb quilting and or crazy quilting mix, sometimes I want to do some top stitching. Sounds like a good idea. Use some fancy stitches here and there, add a little bit of color here and there. It's going to be so fun. All right, what else? I also noticed, because I started to go through these and I was like, wait, I've got to turn camera on. So somewhere I noticed that I had some blocks that I had already started making. Where are they? Once upon a time, like this. See, a la crumb quilt. Only I, you know, was leaving the pieces kind of big. Even when I do crumb quilts, I like to uh, use fairly big pieces, but then sometimes I'll, you know, cut in a way after to make it look like I used little pieces, like this little piece right here, and you know, stuff like that. This little piece down here, that little tiny right there, that probably wasn't a small piece like that when I started. And then this, oh, I wish I had more scraps of this, and I probably do. This is, I call it the, 
India tapestry cotton, but it's not really a tapestry. It's it's printed. It's not like a woven tapestry. But it's, you know, the hippie blankets you see that people used to hang on the walls and some probably still do. I used to buy these wholesale and I used them as the fabric to make big, large shirts for my plus size women. So that's why I have a lot of these scraps. A little piece like this. But I love this cotton because it's a loose weave and oh, it's just so easy to sew. Now, none of this fabric is washed, and obviously, I'm going to just put everything together, and then I will wash whatever I make, and, uh, you know, because there's, you know, it's thready and stuff like that, and it's been in these drawers, so lots of pieces. I will be able to incorporate these into whatever I am making, if I so choose. All right, let's see here. Aha! I have a bag like this, and I right away know what this is. This is part of my upcycled fashions. I don't know if you guys remember, I made this hideous skirt out of a shirt. This is the leftovers of the shirt. Now, I can certainly uh, cut some of this and use some of the scraps, which I will do. Sometimes it's fun, since I'm doing a crazy quilt type thing, I thought maybe I had a a sleeve or something but sometimes you can just take the cuff of a sleeve and sew that in stuff like that but look I have some nice size pieces here and I don't care if it's 100% cotton or not this happens to be now see there's a little button these are where the um, you know the buttons were for the buttonholes on the other side I can leave those buttons right there and put this in and just you know top stitch on here can't wait to get started with all this so excited and then this was like um i think part of that horrible skirt i'll link to my upcycle fashions down below and this was like a tank top now stretchy fabric very very stretchy but look somewhere here i have and i have more but i have a piece of my fusing iron on on just one side so what i would do is i can cut a piece of this and iron it on to this and it will stabilize it and then I can use that. So that's pretty cool because I like, you know, I like to use just all kinds of different fabrics in a crazy quilt, crumb, crumb crazy. Let's call it a, a crazy crumb quilt. How's that? That sounds good. Some more uh, t-shirt kind of knit. A lot more scraps from that shirt. I can't show you every single thing. So you get my point with that. I'll just bag this. Oh, I'll just bag this back up. I don't know why that was in a separate bag. Okay, so now let's just pull this guy here. Let's see what we've got. Looks like lots and lots of fabric. Now look, this is silly. Why was this in there? And that looks like hair, but it's not. It's all nylon thread. I don't even know if you can see it, but that's all thread. Obviously, that will go in the trash. Oh my goodness, tons of little tiny, tiny scraps. What was I thinking? Well, I mean, I could almost want to keep this because that's not too tiny. But stuff like this? No. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Ooh. I mean, okay, that was that was getting carried away, I think. <laughs> okay, I have to go through that. And it looks like just a lot more of the same in here. So I will have to go through and uh, even some batting. And, you know, I'll pick out the fairly big pieces, but a lot of that is going to go bye-bye. All right, let's look at the other one. The other one looks more promising. Looks like it has bigger pieces. It has some more of that shirt. Well, I don't know if we looked at that shirt. <gasps> Look at this shirt. Now, what did I make out of this? Oh, some other weird funky shirt that I didn't like, but I love this. Black and white paisley. Oh, this is that hideous fabric that I used as backing for that Crazy Quilt series that I did. Was it called Crazy Quilt Adventure? No, the crumb quilt was the adventure. Anyway, it was crazy quilts. And this was like a wool blend, and I just used that fabric because I had it, and I used it up. So it looks like we have a lot of big pieces here, a lot of different things. I'm looking for treasures. Ooh, look what we have here. I might have used that, I don't know, in some project, and then I just threw it in this drawer. We can add some of that. 
as we go to embellish. I have a lot of different lace and trims that maybe, I don't know, I don't know exactly what I'm going to want to do. So I do see that there's a lot of little pieces here too. And even though we can use tiny little pieces to make blocks, this is the beginning of a block. It doesn't mean I necessarily will be. I might um, put these aside though. <laughs> I could always put them on eBay, a whole big bag of little crumbs. But I like bigger crumbs. Excuse me, the other camera is turning off. Let's wait. Okay, it's off now. Look, a little piece of faux fur. That's going to go in there somewhere. I had done something really cool with faux fur before. I sewed the fur in. No, I used to cut little pieces of fur and top stitch and do a zigzag around. And it, it was so cool. It almost looked like a little fur bump. Maybe I can do that in there, if I can remember how I ever did that. If I saw, like, a spider in here, I'd fucking die. A bag of scraps in a baggie. Why? Why would I do that? Well, some pieces here with buttons. I can put that in somewhere. Huh? Gotta put it back in its bag. It had, it had a little home. <laughs> Now, even fabric like this, this is, uh, you know, very slinky. It's a satin. I will stabilize that, iron that on, so it'll make it easier to sew, but it'll be so pretty. Ooh, another little pieces of fake fur. Different print. This one's tiger. This one was, I don't know, leopard, cheetah, something like that, leopard, I think. Well, I'm just excited. So what I'm going to do is just get busy, and I'm going to sort some of this stuff. I'm just going to make a pile of like decent sized pieces and then little pieces and then I'll probably use mostly the decent sized pieces and then there will also be a bag for trash. So I just wanted to show you this so I could get started. Once I get started, I will be anxious to start making blocks and like I said, I will show you along the way. So that's it for this video. I'm going to try to keep them kind of quick and hopefully do a lot of them. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!